What's up everyone, it's Bones here. In today's video, I'll be featuring Photon, Galaxy Eyes, whatever you want to call it. But before I begin, if you could happen to click on those thumbs up and subscribe buttons, it would be greatly appreciated as it goes a long way in supporting the channel and shows me that you like content like this. Clicking on those notification bells would also mean a lot as they notify you when I upload on the channel. Because we got a new card in Photon Hypernova, the deck now has a one card combo and the new card is Photon Jumper. It reads when an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can activate this effect. Skip your next battle phase, also special summon this card from your hand, then end the battle phase. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one photon or galaxy spell trap from your deck to your hand. You can only use each effect of jumper once per turn. So this is a really strong card because it just enables you to do a lot of stuff with the amount of galaxy and photon spells and traps we have, and one of them happens to be a monster reborn plus a special summon from deck, though it does lock you into galaxy and photon on monsters so you have to remember that but we're going to pay 2k in order to get those effects and then from here we can go into our rank 4 as we're then able to get our search or our send we can get ourselves the photon vanisher the vanisher can special summon itself as we'll be able to get the galaxy eyes and then from here we can go into our link to the soul flare or the solar flare whichever you want to call it and we'll get ourselves the galaxy summoner we'll normal summon it get the effect which will allow us to monster reborn the jumper and now we can go into our star liege and basically what this allows us to do is is you can discard the galaxy eyes on your opponent's turn for a pop with the soul flare and then you can revive it off of the star liege in order to get a banish or a special summon from your opponent's extra deck with the galaxy hundred which is technically how you'll disrupt your opponent's turn with just one card for the second combo and this is just a 1.5 card combo you need to have the galaxy eyes photon dragon but we're going to start here by activating the pure rays map and you don't need to play this if you don't want to i'm just showing you can but we're going to pay half our life points as we're going to normal summon the galaxy wizard and now we're at a similar point where i showed that first combo except that we've actually used our normal summon where we have the galaxy hundred we're going to send the jumper and then from here we can get the jumpers effect which will get us the galaxy trance activate the galaxy trance which will get us the jumper along with the summoner and then from here we can go into our rank four we'll use the rank four which will allow us to get a search or a send as we're going to send the photon emperor this time around and then from here we can go into our soul flare but we are going to use the level man manipulation i'm only doing this to show that you can depending on what the rest of your hand is and what you want to do but we're going to go into our soul flare here and then from here you can grab back your summoner and then you'll normal summon your summoner with the effect of the photon emperor which does stay on the field lingering after you send it to the graveyard whichever way it goes and then from there we'll bring back our jumper and we can now go into our star leash putting us in the same situation that we were at the end of the first combo for the next one we have galaxy soldier plus jumper and this is is also combo as well as you're just able to get a search of a spell trap that's a galaxy or photon card and then you also get the search of a galaxy monster so we're going to get ourselves the galaxy wizard and from here we'll be able to add the galaxy hundred as well as we're going to normal summon the wizard tribute it off in order to get our trance and then from here we can activate the trance get back our jumper along with summoner from deck here we'll go into the rank four which searches or sends and i believe we're going to send this time around no we're going to add and we're going to get the photon orbital and this is just another deck thinner searcher and we're going to use its effect equipping it to the rank four get ourselves the vanisher from here we can then go into the soul flare the soul flare will grab back the summoner and now you can activate your galaxy hundred as you're going to send the photon emperor revive it off of its effect then get the additional normal summon for the galaxy summoner and then you can bring back the jumper then use the effect in order to make the photon emperor rank four because this will be important if you want to go into another monster and we'll then be able to special summon out the vanisher then use its effect in order to get a search for the galaxy eyes now you have the star liege along with the soul flare and the galaxy and you are locked into galaxy and photon type monsters so you are pretty limited in what you can do and i'm just going to use these two to go into a soul flare and i'm doing this because it allows you to play around kaijus they're basically forced to kaiju this if they do kaiju you but depending on the situation you can also go into the rank four search slash send the galaxy photon dragon and then just end on that with the attack boost which i guess is somewhat decent it depends on what you want to do then from here we're going to start with photon thrasher plus photon orbital just want to show what you can do really with any photon monster along with the orbital and then we're going to activate the orbital use its effect in order to get ourselves the galaxy wizard then normal summon the wizard allow us to get a search here for the galaxy hundred and now we're practically in combo area again as we're able to send the jumper and 
and the jumper really is an important card for this archetype because so many combos revolve around it. If you happen to watch my previous Galaxy video without the jumper, you'll notice how different the combos are and how much you kind of have to reserve how much of what you use and stuff because you can't so easily search it out. So we're going to use the Galaxy Photon Dragon now in order to get ourselves a send of the Emperor, revive the Emperor, and then from here we can go into our Soul Flare, use the Soul Flare in order to get back our Summoner, then we'll be able to normal summon the summoner off of the additional summon, get back the galaxy wizard, and now we can go into our search here for the galaxy eyes photon dragon, we can then make the star liege. Now for this next one, we'll start with the real two card combos, the galaxy hundred and the galaxy wizard, and we're then going to get ourselves the send of the jumper, we can then get ourselves a search for the trance, as we'll then activate the trance, and we can get ourselves back the jumper and special summon out the summoner, as we're then going to be able to go into our galaxy photon dragon, and use its effect in order to get ourselves a search or a send as we're going to get the emperor to hand and we're doing this because we have the wizard so the wizard allows us to get the galaxy soldier and now we're able to use the galaxy soldier pitching the emperor and then we can get the effects of the emperor along with the galaxy soldier i do chain link one wizard chain link two emperor and then we can chain link three the galaxy photon dragon because you're just able to chain block and uh, if you do get hit by imperm or you don't happen to have the rank four or what ever reason then you may want to actually make the galaxy soldier chain link too so that you can chain block your emperor and play around the imperm but we're going to get the revival of the emperor we're going to get ourselves the galaxy photon dragon get ourselves the link summon of soul flare bring back the summoner to our hand and then from here we can get the additional normal summon get ourselves back the jumper with the summoner as we're then going to go into our star leash from here we can use the star leash to bring out the galaxy as photon dragon we'll then get the effect of the galaxy hundred and and then from here, it really depends on what you're going to do. Going first, you're going to want to go into the number 90, but you can also go into the number 62 if you're going second, and then go into your big number 62, or the C62, I forget its name. But I'll show more on that as the video progresses. And from here, I'm just going to go onto our opponent's turn, and then I'm going to search ourselves the Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon for the Soul Flare. I just wanted to show that because it does make your Soul Flare live, and it can potentially bait an Ash as they can't target it with stuff like Imperm. Now for this next combo, we'll be using Galaxy Wizard and Photon Orbital, and we'll start here by Normal Summoning the Orbital, Activating the Orbital, or Normal Summoning the Wizard, and then Activating the Orbital, and then from here we can get ourselves the Search for the Jumper, as we'll activate the Galaxy Wizard, and now we're in a situation where we were in the previous combo, where we have the Galaxy Soldier, and we have access to the Jumper, and the Jumper can get us the Galaxy 100. We'll then be able to get ourselves the Galaxy 100 send along with the Galaxy Summoner, and this will basically make it so that we can send the Photon Emperor and get the extra normal summon this way. And from here, we're going to get the revival of the Galaxy Wizard. And now we can use the Galaxy Wizard in order to get our Galaxy Trans, as we're then going to use the effect of the Summoner to make the Galaxy Soldier level 4 go into our Galaxy Photon Dragon, activate it in order to get ourselves the Photon Vanisher. And we're basically just doing what we've been doing this entire time, get ourselves the Galaxy Eyes. And then from here, we can make it level 8 if you would like to. I would like to point out, I do think that you can actually make the Galaxy Eyes number 90, the Photon Lord, if you have an extra extender, but because we don't, we're not going to do that. And then from here, we're going to use the effect of the Galaxy Trance. Then we're going to bring back the Jumper, as we're also going to special summon out a Wizard. Special summon out your Star Liege, use its effect in order to bring out the Photon Dragon, and activate the Galaxy 100. This is how you'll actually bring out the Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord in this particular combo as now you can go onto your opponent's turn and then use the effect of the photon lord in order to get yourself a search for the galaxy eyes now onto the three card combo before i get onto the test hands and this is galaxy soldier plus jumper plus galaxy expedition and we're going to start this one by activating the soldier sending our jumper and getting ourselves a pair of searches so from here we'll be able to get the wizard along with the hundred and we're going to activate the hundred now as we're going to be able to send the emperor and then the emperor can revive it itself as we'll be able to activate the galaxy expedition as we're going to bring out the galaxy eyes photon dragon this will be able to prompt the galaxy hundred and now you can banish a monster or special summon it depends on what you want to do and in this combo again if you're going second you can end up making this as we already have these two on board and uh, i would like to point out that with the additional searches that you have you can also get yourself into afterglow but going to normal summon the galaxy wizard as we'll be able to get ourselves the galaxy summoner, activate 
activate the Galaxy Summoner to bring back the Jumper, and then from here you can use the effect of the Galaxy Summoner to make the Galaxy Soldier level 4 go into your Galaxy Photon, which is how you'll get your Afterglow if you have to go about it that way, but we're going to get our Trance here, and then from here you're going to bring back your Galaxy Summoner, activate the Trance, which you can then Special Summon out the Jumper along with the Galaxy Wizard, go into the Star Liege, and again, if you're going first, this is really what you want to go for, as we'll go to the end phase, go on to our opponent's turn, and then the Photon Lord can get ourselves the Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon for the Disruption. Now, on to the first test hand. The extender, I don't believe, is too important in this particular hand, as we're going to send the Jumper, and then we can get ourselves the Trance, as we'll then be able to activate the Trance, back the Jumper, which you can then also bring out the Summoner, then you can go into your Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, or the Galaxy Photon Photon Dragon, get yourself a search or ascend as we're going to get the expedition, activate the Galaxy Soldier, sending the Emperor, and then from there you can use the effect of the Emperor along with the Galaxy Soldier and chain link 3 the Galaxy Photon Dragon so that you can play around your opponent's hand traps and stuff, but we're going to get ourselves the Galaxy Eyes Afterglow and this is also what I wanted to show. We're actually not going to go into the number 62 I don't think here, or we might actually just to show that you can, but we're going to banish it from our opponent, go into the Photon Lord. Here we can then use the effect of the Afterglow Special Summoning itself out. We're going to go into the number 62, and yeah, this is if you want to go for the OTK. Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon along with the Afterglow attached to any of these two. Just put in a lethal amount of damage as this will go to something crazy over like 11,000 attack, but something just worth noting. And here because we do have the Extender, if you're going first and for whatever reason you decide to make number 62, if you're just whatever to the game and you can bring out the soul flare this way as well and get yourself the galaxy summoner normal summon the summoner and then get yourself back the jumper and this is how you'll get into your star leash now for this next hand we have another sort of three card combo and uh, it's the token generator the photon sanctuary along with the jumper and the vanisher and i wanted to show this hand because it just shows what happens if you get something like photon thrasher or the vanisher along with the jumper and we'll be able to get ourselves a search for a second galaxy eyes photon dragon which from here we'll then be able to go into our rank four use the effect of the rank four and from here we can detach the jumper to get ourselves the galaxy soldier and this is pretty cool because now we have the galaxy Galaxy 100 along with the effect of the Galaxy Soldier, so you can send the Emperor here, get yourself an extra normal summon, and then get the search off of the Galaxy Soldier to get yourself that normal summon. From here, we'll chain block the Galaxy Soldier if you would like to. You can also get access into a rank 8 this way, as we are going to go into the Photon Lord to protect our plays from here on out. And from here, we're going to revive the Jumper. We can then go into our Star Liege, activate the Photon Sanctuary, which will give us the two tokens. And from here, you can go into your Soul Flare. I'm doing it this way to save the most amount of resources that we can. I would also like to point out that for this particular part, you don't have to use its effect if the only thing is the Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon in the graveyard. It really depends on judgment call there because if they do out the Soul Flare before you can use the Star Liege that kind of does hurt, I still want to show that you can get back a monster from your graveyard with the Soul Flare. Now for this final combo, I'll be covering the turn skip and this is actually a reuse replay from my galaxy video if you haven't seen that video you can definitely check that out even though it is a bit outdated but we're going to get ourselves the orbital we can get ourselves the jumper here as we'll be able to activate the galaxy soldier pitching the jumper now we can get ourselves a search the jumper and the galaxy wizard and the galaxy soldier and i would like to point out that i am not playing this hand optimally whatsoever it's more so to show this deck indeed does have a turn skip the turn skip comes through the photon declaration a card that has a secondary effect that reads, if this card set in its owner's control is destroyed by your opponent's card effect during your opponent's turn and you control Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon or an Exceed monster that has it as material, you can activate this effect. It becomes the end phase of this turn. So there is some setup that you have to follow through with that, which is why I say it's not optimal. You are playing more pure deck slots for it. You're playing a main deck slot for it. it gives you a really high payoff. It's definitely the most powerful thing that this deck has going first, considering you've seen end boards like Soul Flare and Star Liege. 
but we're going to get ourselves the Jumper back from the Soul Flare, bring out the Vanisher, use the Vanisher to get ourselves the Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Here we can then go into our Ptolemyus, and the Ptolemyus is how you'll actually get the turn skip, as in the end phase you can get yourself the other material. Then on your opponent's turn, whenever they activate a monster effect, and I'm just going to bring out the Durandal immediately, but this is why you need them to activate a monster effect. Orbital won't do because it's a spell and trap on the field, so we're just going to get ourselves the Galaxy summoner and then from here we're going to bring back the photon orbital but use the durandal instead we'll make it pop our set spell and trap card and from here we'll get to skip our opponent's turn and then use the soul flare along with whatever else you want to use i also want to point out that you can pitch two off of the soul flare if you want to get the additional pitch off of jumper so if you end up having the ability to get an extra recursion in your turn and just get yourself back to jumper and pitch it with this if it happens to be in your graveyard. With all of the combos out of the way, we can finally get onto the deck profile, and you'll see that it really hasn't changed a lot from the main stuff that I've been playing over the course of the time I've shown Galaxy on the channel. Ratios are basically all the same, except we're not on the Piri Ray's map anymore. I think that you could either switch to Prosperity, or you can switch to an extra hand trap for that. It depends on what you want to do. And we also have the Thrasher and one Vanisher, which is something that I've been trying for a while, as you don't want hands where you see too much of these, and just feels right playing a total of three with the Rota anyways, as you're usually sending the Jumper off of the hundred and then you're getting the ton emperor off of the rank for the hundred so it really is just a free body at that point then you'll see that we're still on the photon sanctuary the one galaxy trans and the one galaxy zero along with the one galaxy expedition i still think that you do want to play all of these the fact that this can immediately get you into soul flare along with the fact that you're playing a copy of talents which can search it just an important part of this deck, especially when you're going second and attempting to break boards, which I feel is a strong suit. You're able to play through so many cards with how many extenders you have. At the same time, there's still a lot of pieces that feel a little bit weaker than what's up to standard today, which deck can circumvent around by playing cards like Burguska in order to slow the pace of the game down, but still a reason that it is a rogue deck. I would also like to talk about Galakaribo. I don't want people to sleep on this just because there will be formats where destroying is prevalent. And this can end up being a pretty good card in order to protect yourself from board wipes. There you side deck it or even main deck it. Just something that I feel shouldn't be slept on. You see there's also the Piri Ray's map and the turn skip. This is all just stuff that you can play. The Hyper Galaxy, interesting because you can tribute a monster with 2,000 or more attack. Except Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, then target a monster our opponent can controls with 2,000 or more attack, tribute it, and if we do, we special summon out a Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon from our hand, deck, or graveyard. This is a pretty interesting card in my opinion, as it's also a Galaxy card that you can search off of your jumper and your wizard, becoming a disruption that's also a tribute. can help when you have to end on your boards with the Galaxy Photon Dragon, as it also happens to give a 500 attack boost for everything, so I wouldn't say to rule this out either, and it can definitely take precedence over something like Galaxy Zero. Again, it depends on what you want to do. Outside of that, I really don't have much else to say about the deck. I think that the way that you build it is very cookie cutter, as you do want to play extra copies of stuff like Soul Flare and the Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, or the Photon Lord, along with the Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. But I also would like to mention that you can play three of the Soul Flare if you don't want to play the Lina, and that would make perfect sense as well. I think that they're both equally as powerful in their own scenarios. Having the third Soul Flare can come up at times. I still wanted to put Lina here because it's an option that you should consider when building your deck. With all of that out of the way, I'll just get onto the card by card as I think I'm done rambling here. And we're going to get ourselves the three Galaxy Photon Dragon, the one Emperor, the one Summoner, the one Jumper, the one Chuary, the one Galaxy Zero, the one Trance, the one Expedition, Rhoda, Afterglow, Evenly, Thrust, the two Talents, the three Imperms, the three Galaxy Hundred, Thrasher, the one Vanity, the three Galaxy Soldier, the three Orbital, the three Galaxy Wizard, the three Ash, and the three Bell to round out the deck profile.
Onto the extra deck, we have the number 41, the two Photon Dragons, the one Star Liege, the two Photon Lords, 38. We then have the Galaxy Eyes Full Armor, the number 62, Galaxy Eyes Cypher Dragon, number 62, C62, and the two or three Soul Flares along with the Lina. Found out our deck profile. Anyways, if you made it this far into the video, I thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Have any suggestions, feel free to leave them down below. It's Bones, signing out.